through city approvals, uh, architects, uh, actual construction season. Uh, and it's just uh, it's a great feeling to finally be standing in here. It's surreal, really. That's well, exciting. You know, we financed what would be uh, considered some pretty big residential houses, but uh, nothing uh, anywhere near the scope of this building. So. You know, I'm just I'm out here just infrequently enough where each time that I come out, I'm just amazed by the sheer magnitude of it. Just looking down these long uh, rows and the huge racking, it's it's really impressive. It, it turned out great. I guess I, I didn't know what to expect when uh, I signed on to this, but uh, it really is truly 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 turned out great. We have different uh, customers from different industries uh, using the facility already. Uh, what you're seeing here is some vaccine companies. Uh, obviously, all the news is uh, vaccines for uh, COVID, and you're seeing some of this here. So we're proud to be uh, helping out and doing our part. And uh, we have a lot of people uh, storing different types of food, anything that needs temperature control. Uh, you know, we're open to uh, storing. Uh, we're taking baby steps, as you can see, we've been open a couple months. And it takes a little time for inventories to build, and as they build, uh, you know, we'll get busier and busier, but, uh, you know, this has been a good start. You know, we're pretty excited. Uh, we've talked with a lot of pillars in, the, in, in uh, especially the food industry in the Twin Cities area already. Uh, we've had a lot of people out here showing a, a lot of interest with uh, some real plants, and so... We're excited about the future for sure. So one of the things we do as a transportation company is we offer uh, three types of delivery service in terms of temperature. We'll have refrigerated temperature, we'll have ambient temperature, which is kind of like a room temperature, um, and then we have our frozen. So this facility uh, offers all three things, exactly what we uh, mirror with our transportation. So we have ambient storage, refrigerated storage, and uh, of course frozen storage areas. Yeah, we had a good team. Um, Copa Building, obviously, is the, the general contractor on it. Um, I couldn't recommend them more. They just were fantastic uh, from beginning to end. They were by our side. We never really experienced any trouble. Uh, it was all done super, you know, quickly, professionally. We're tickled pink with the result. Um, the other part of the team was uh, our architect, Leo Daly. They were, they were great. They, uh, got everything dialed up the way we wanted it and then uh, the last part the, probably the most important part was Tradition Bank and how they stepped up and uh, easy to work with uh, their crew was so attentive attentive to the draws and the uh, needs of the construction crews as they were uh, getting through the building uh, everything was just seamless and as an owner I just kind of sit back and let all these professionals do their job one of the things that we like about um, our location here in Hudson is it kind of feeds a pipeline uh, from Chicago, Milwaukee, those areas into the Twin Cities. And so uh, we're right on the edge of the Twin Cities. It makes transportation costs from those other hubs cheaper uh, because we're on the edge of the cities. And then it also allows us to be right uh, on the edge so we can hit all parts of the Twin Cities metro area and the state of Minnesota.